Dance Arts of Columbia provides fitness fun for everyone from three years old to adults. Dance Arts is a good environment where the friendly staff makes you feel comfortable. Dance Art feels that dance is an art form that you can experience firsthand by learning tap, jazz, modern, musical theater, lyrical, and ballet. Dance Arts urges you to enjoy a sense of accomplishment while getting fit and having fun. For class information, call 875-1569. Dance Arts of Columbia, serving Columbia since 1979. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, November the 10th. The elections are over. <laughs> Liz Schmidt is with us, League of Women Voters. We're uh, very glad to see them go. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're here to tell us about an event that you have coming up in two days. Yes, the Founders Day Luncheon. Okay. Elizabeth Cady Stanton's birthday, so we decided to have a little celebration at the Holiday Inn Executive Center. 11.30 on uh, two days from now, Wednesday. Uh -huh. uh, our speaker is going to be Vicki Reback wilson and uh, she was a former representative to the right. state. And our Outstanding Citizen Award goes to Chris Kelly. Okay. And he will be there, we're, we're assured. If people would like reservations, they can call 445 0655, and everyone is welcome. You do not need to be a member. You don't have of to be a member of the League no. of Women Voters. If you're a friend of one of these people, just you come. come on and in. even if you're not a friend of one of the people <laughs> and right. you want to go and have a nice lunch, you can yes, come. Yes, yes, that's can come. right. It doesn't make any difference what political party you're affiliated no. with. Nope, we're nonpartisan. And then our fall conference is coming up on Saturday. Okay, wait. How do oh. how do people get reservations for the uh, Founders Day lunch? Call four four five zero six five five. Four four five zero six five five. And the luncheon's eleven thirty on November twelfth, which so is two, two days, days from, from today. Now. And mm -hmm. there's still room. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's still room. Yeah, the holiday is pretty big. I yeah. think we could get them in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Then, uh, oh, you're gonna have those famous. Uh, well, League of Women Voter Cookies? At, at this, we're going to have veggie or I don't know what the meat is. Chicken, probably. Okay. We'll have one meat and one one veggie dish. Okay. Then what else have you got? Uh, then uh, we're on our fall conference is Saturday, uh, this coming Saturday, November 15th. And it's looking at the November election and voting trends. Won't from, that be fun? From what just happened. But just happened. And our noon speaker is uh, Bob Pretty. From, from the Missouri Net. Yeah. And as you know, he's he knows everything about Missouri and yeah. everything about the history of Missouri. Uh, so if they're interested in that, they can call the same number, 445-0655. Okay. And we do have a website, lwvcbc.org. That's with a www in front of it. Yes, I okay. think so. So that's uh, League of Women Voters uh, Fall Conference this Saturday, 9 to 3. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's a long conference. Well, it's over at Sa Sedalia, so part of that's eating. It's where? Over at Sedalia, part of it's lunch. Oh, okay, okay. So there's lunch involved in that L one, too. Lunch involved. Is, is there a cost for this? Uh, I think something like $10. Okay, but call uh, call, call that on. number and you'll find out. I'll, I'll tell them. Oh, they're calling you, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Lou Schmidt, thank you so thank much you. for coming by. You bet. And uh, then got a busy... Uh, busy new year coming up yes we do a little we'll start the whole thing over with health and education and you know all the topics that we spend our time right on. because open let's see no does open enrollment it, it starts very soon doesn't it's it? it's almost immediately yeah okay there'll <laughs> be a lot of talk about that never thank get you. away well i'll be back to talk all about right Liz Schmidt, thank you league you of bet. women voters now i turn to kevin brown good to have yeah. you here kevin Great brown to be here, Paul. And you are from MU Theater. You're mm -hmm. the director of the Orphan Sea. Yes. And this is really special because the Orphan Sea is a world premiere. That's right, right, Paul. This is the first time it will ever be done anywhere. This play was written just for us. Oh, it was we, written just for Just the... for us to do here in Missouri. Uh, we got a great grant from the Missouri Arts Council that allowed us to bring internationally known playwright Caridad Sfitch who is an Obi, uh, Obi uh, award-winning playwright. Uh -huh. um, here, she actually was on campus about a month ago, worked with our actors. She'll be fl flying out, actually, for the opening night in a couple days here on Wednesday. Yeah. And, well, tell me about, tell me about the production. Yeah, so The Orphan Sea, it's a, a really interesting production in that it combines 
Uh, I guess you could say new and old elements. Uh, Caradot is very fond of telling classical stories. So this uh, is about the story of Odysseus and Penelope. So the story from Homer's Odyssey about mm -hmm. a woman, a faithful woman who waits for her husband to come back from war. Uh, but we tell the story in a very new avant-garde way in that it combines a lot of multimedia elements. So we have uh, projections, we have a combination of dance and music going on. Uh, so, so I think it has a little something is the for music everybody. Live music or is it real? Um, it's actually pre-recorded. Although there actually will be, uh, there is one live song where they turn off all the media, and and there's a little scene about what it's like to go without the media for a while, and they uh, they sing live for a little bit yeah. as well. Yeah. Well, it sounds like an interesting. And you were telling me that the premise is how we are all. Interconnected. How we're connected, yeah. You know, it uses this story of, of you know, um, a woman who's waiting for her husband to return, but it's also, you know, the orphan sea is a metaphor for the connection between all humans. So it, it's, you know, about all of those things that can divide us. So, um, you know, the, the people are waiting are the people that wait for people who cross rivers and seas and the, the people that are crossing the rivers and seas. So it's, it's about kind of all of those different borders and lines that people cross and how sometimes they can come together, uh, come in between us, but ultimately we're all human and we should all be connected. You know, if we could just learn to sit down and talk to each other. Absolutely. And listen, listen to the other person's point of view. Yep. Uh, we probably would have a lot more in common than we realize. Yep. But so many times we are so determined that we are going to keep that wall up between us that we drift further and further apart. Yeah, and so this plays about breaking down those walls and finding finding out you know what common love we have for one another yeah. as humans. How yeah. many people are in the production? So we have nine actors, nine excellent student actors uh, who are doing the play in three different choruses. So another uh, thing that's exciting about this play is instead of having sort of lead characters, you have three different choruses of actors that play out the different roles throughout the play. Is that difficult? Is it, as, as a director, is that a difficult production it's to do? It is difficult. It's challenging, but it's a challenge. It's been a really great challenge for me to yeah. stretch my wings as a director and to you know, try new things. And so now you it's open really in rewarding. two days, so how long have you been working yeah. on it? We've been, uh, I have been in contact with Caridad ever since June, and as she was writing the play, uh, we actually um, cast the play about two months ago and uh, did a one-week workshop with Caridad um, in the, uh, in, back in September. Um, and, and it opens in two days. It does. And, all right. Yeah, and then it'll all be on stage. How how, um, uh, how do they get tickets? So uh, so the the it runs the 12th through the 16th. Uh -huh. The times are uh, 7:30 and an uh, additional two o'clock matinee on Saturdays and Sundays. To get tickets, uh, you come. You can go to theater.missouri.edu/onstage or 882 play. 882 play or come to the box office of the lobby in the Rheinsberger Theater. Okay, we're um, out of time. Okay, <laughs> great. Morgan on your calendar. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.